Okay, well, it's saying to me press any button. And traditionally, uh, what you would do in a situation like this when it says press any button, usually you would, you would just press the X. Oh, it's gone. It's gone now. I talked too much over that. It's going back into the intro. But yeah. <laughs> Is it not going to let me skip it again? No, it's not. Disaster. Turn it off and delete it. Why am I playing it? <laughs> what if I don't agree? What's going to happen there? Do I not agree? Is it just going to take me back to the start? I'm going to do it. I'm going to not agree. I don't agree. I see. Mm. What? <laughs> nice. That's it. I should just turn it off now and go. I didn't like that. I so I didn't like the ending that I got, man. What ending did you get? And I go, well, oh, game told me to fuck off. Told me to leave. Like, what? No, man, we played this. It's like 50 hours of gameplay. What did you... Man, it was like five minutes for me. Yeah, is he going to ask me to leave? It takes me back to the start menu. Imagine somebody... Wa I've got a headset on. Imagine somebody just walked into the gaff and was all, excuse me, mate. And I'm like, what? You, you have to leave? Be like, That's my house. <laughs> it's like, no, man. you got to leave. So, I know what I'm going to say next time. What happens if you say no twice? That's what I want to know. If you say no twice, is he like, no, come on, seriously, you have to play the game. It's, this is taking a very kind of swing of the spectrum here from the start of the game. You know, and it's all happy days, people leaping around, having a good time, painting on the walls and doing dances. And now it's all, this fucking shit's real, man. You ready to fucking go on an adventure? And you're like, Jesus. <laughs> no. <laughs> and he goes, well, leave, you dick. If you're not here for adventure, fuck off. Oof, nice. So better than cyberpunk. So is this cyberpunk? The scandalous soundtrack here, like, this is insane. There's some guy leaping about the lights, lads. Here, somebody called about a lad leaping around the lights. Yeah, man, this is man. He's come on. He's just leaping around the lights. Look at this guy go. Fair play to him. Man, I fucking I tried to buy a big coat once when I was a Wayne, and when the Matrix came out, big long black coat, and I bought it and I, I brought it home. And my man was all take that off. What are you wear that for? And I was like, I look cool as fuck. I'm Neo. And my man was like, take that back to the shop. What are you? What are you doing? That's not practical, like, it's not a practical coat they wear. I will admit that leaping was class crack, even though I was just smashing the X there. Oh, Jesus. Spongy lads. Needed, this is basically, this is what I thought I was going to be doing as a wing. Uh, wear my big trench coat. Right, okay. Interesting! Hmm, it's just flashing. Do I shoot at the heart shape at his balls? With the big red arrow is so gun is up to take game persona skill an item guard yourself or attack me like not just the attack not do we attack oh my jewel shock is getting low oh. nice or back up here a minute i need your back up with adams wearing a big black coat jumping around the lights so he thinks he's doing it in bullet time he's just moving around this really slowly I, be honest, I'm absolutely buzzing off it, uh, just on the outset right now. Like, fucking, the dash on him, mate. I'm liking these little animated bits in between, this is pretty cool. I'm liking it. Just leap, leap onto the lights, mate. Let's... Just shoot him, no, you were just shooting him earlier. If I had I got my black coat... My Matrix code, that's how I would leave house parties. Just see ya. <laughs> Clean out the window. Your luck ran out, lad. Many men, like. Tights. Ass. <laughs> Tights out, mate. Yeah, take his handcuffs off, mate. Both of you strip naked, then we'll see who's the bigger man. Hey, so don't forget riding your ma. <laughs> That's not on that list. <laughs> yeah, it is. I rich him, man. I was enjoying it. It's not even giving me an option. Everything says I can't remember. Ooh, hello. So I get the I get the pick how big a lamp and he gives me or something like that. 
Those who want a balance between exciting gameplay and a riveting story. You can change the difficulty at any time. This choice will not affect the story. I'm going to go normal. I'm going to go normal. Do you wish to begin to play the game with the normal difficulty? I think I said yes. So, so normal's how you want it. <laughs> Take the cuffs off. If I had to put hard, would he have kept the cuffs on? Something like that? Don't just give me the pen, you dick. I fucking sign it right. I just, and I just write up the hoods. That's a cool name. Adam Fairplay. And if it isn't Adam Fairplay. <laughs> Let me rewrite that. Just sorry, Mitt. I made a mess of this form. Will you and happen to have another one? Adam Fairplay has a country club. Exactly. Exactly. I am knocking 18 holes <laughs> on the weekend at the Fair Play fucking country club. Another, how many holes you hit in the day, Fair Mr. Fair Play? As many as it takes to get the job done. That's what it is. <laughs> There she is, like. So, Mr. Fairplay, look at that. You got yourself in there. Bit of a mess, haven't you? I'm liking the big animated fucking uh, heads. They're pretty cool. All I wanted to do was jump around on lights. What's he going on about? Like, like what is this man's cause? This mystery man? This guy's an enigma. He's aloof. I need to know more about him. The Jima grill him for me. Oh, is they doing this? Are we about, is this about to go one year previous? And then it's just me telling the story the whole way through the game. It began a long time ago. I, I think I might make it th uh, through this because recently I marathoned the entirety of Neo Genesis Evangelion in one day. I was a mess at the end of it. It was like three in the morning by the time I finished it. And uh, those last two episodes of Neo Genesis Evangelion, the series. <sighs> I had no idea what was going on, man. I had like a migraine for the rest of the night. So yeah, that'll be just beep. Anytime. Anytime some character in this game does something that's just like fair play, lad. That's what'll come up. Just fair play, lad. At Basic Street, I'm on my phone Trying to get to school or going home But I got a text message in a foreign language But native to me So you don't understand? It? Oh It's a pop-up myth He's like, oh for fuck's sake what? Professor Xavier He's just gonna come wheeling in So you're not the only one with gifts <laughs> Straight away, nah. Uh, delete that message. Going no way, man. Not gonna trust it. Like, would you like to battle a demon beast? Uh, well, if time freezes, nah. Okay, so troubled kid going to a new land, a new place. There's all sorts of people living in the city. That there is. Try listening to the conversations. I press the X button to talk to them. You might learn something new. Like this, the fucking peelers. What's the peelers? Unfriendly officer. <laughs> Is that his name? I want to ask for directions. Yeah. Oh, look at the map. Hmm, nice little map. Nice little map. Jesus. Are these streets bad news, man? Yeah, see, I can't. I've got some third person going on there. Movie theater. Shut bags inside. I wonder if the place has been closed down. I would hope to be watching some pretty cool movies in that at some point. Um, if that's the, the way in which the game is going to go. Uh, is this I'm going to have to fucking scan my bananas or something like that? Before we copy? It's just pure just, now get to your gaff. Progress the story past this intro and then just save the game again. They're close to spinning inside. Very observant. Let me guess, he's going to say something about those clothes getting washed in the washing machine. The economy in a slump and the population aging. Is there a future for the next generation? Da, ta, 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 ta. I, I added that bit and he didn't say that. Yeah, let's go back to the peeler. Let's go back to the Polis, the policeman. 
And uh, I'll ask him for directions again. Sorry, what did you say, man? He's all, what? Did you forget something? Yeah, everything you said. Can you just repeat it? I want to ask for directions. It's in an alley a bit further back. Take a right after that apartment with the stairs. Is this my gaff? This is my gaff. Just imagine on the session band, just blaring this. All oh, right, okay, so we're going back to that cafe. You have to be really ginger with the the controls on this thing, because you can be. They said they just they just leap into a full sprint at a moment's notice. Plus, I want to get that JRPG angsty walk. Yeah, you're open now, you bastard. Hate that in games. You should have been able to like see him and go, wait a minute. Or does he know who he is? Does he know what he looks like? Look at this guy. Thanks for coming. Yeah, this place is in the back alley, so there's no worries of a car crashing in here. That's an amazing, uh, like the comforting thought that he has there. So, yeah, I love being in your cafe. There's no chance of me being run over by a madman in a bus. I don't have a cup of tea on the main street because, you know, a madman on a bus might drive through and kill us all. But that's why I drink cough my tea here. I have, I swear to God, I have a pair of pajama bombs identical to his trousers. Please, take care of me. What? What does he mean by please take care of me? It's not like, it's like, please help me. I don't know. You look like you want to say yeah. I'm going to say, please take care of me. Oh, hello. Oh, you bastard. It seems that we've had a technical difficulty, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is shut. 